welcome back to my channel today i am going to discuss about time management in oit reading part a in oit reading part a you get 20 questions and you have to complete this 20 questions within 15 minutes period so time management is very very important in oit reading part a you have to complete your 20 questions within 20, 15 minutes period uh, first of all, I would like to give you a good suggestions. Don't get panic. Okay, don't get panic. If you get panic, you won't get enough time to complete your test. At the same time, you won't get, you cannot find out all the answers. So, uh, don't get panic. This is your golden time. Okay, this is your golden timings. Utilize uh, these timings effectively. If you utilize this time effectively, definitely you will get good scores in OIT reading, uh, reading subtest. In OIT reading subtest is a 20 minutes long test. In OIT reading part A is a separate test and B is a separate test. In OIT reading part A, uh, you have to complete 20 questions within 15 minutes period. After that, the question booklet and test booklet will be collected. Uh, then you will get part B and part C separately. Okay, so it is a 16 minutes a long test. Uh, in OIT reading part A, you get four tests. Okay, I repeat once more from uh, uh, from here onwards. I am going to tell you the techniques. Okay, you have to listen carefully. What are the techniques? I am going to tell you to learn uh, how to manage the timings effectively. Okay, you get four tests: test A, B, C, and D. Then what you have to do? You will get I told you, you will get tested question booklet and test booklet. Okay. In test booklet, uh, you have four tests, A, B, C, and D. Okay. First of all, you have to read the titles and subtitles. What are the titles? I will show you the titles. Um, this is the titles. You have to just read Assessing Diabetic Food Ulcer. Okay, this is a title, size subtitles in just read neuropathic ischemic and neuro ischemic subtitles. And second one is applying dressing to diabetic food ulcers. Okay, so third one is debris demand of diabetic food ulcers. Fourth one is dressings of diabetic food ulcers, advantages and disadvantages. Okay, advantages and disadvantages. These are the titles and subtitles. Then uh, you have to understand what it is mentioned. Okay, you have to understand if it is a double demand, it will talk only about the double demand. If it is the medication, it, they will talk only about the medication. So, uh, you will get an idea. If you read the titles and subtitles, you will get an idea what about the test is mentioned. Okay, so uh, then you have to uh, nest technique. Okay, I first of all. Uh, first of all, you have to read the titles and subtitles. Then what you have to do? Secondly, you have to write somewhere in the question booklet. Okay, you have to write somewhere in the question booklet like that. I'll show you. Uh, here or somewhere. See here. Uh, here you can write somewhere. Okay, just write it. Test A. Test A is signs and symptoms okay signs and symptom b medication okay c it uh, c is dressing four is management like that you can write somewhere in the test okay it is very easy technique okay when you write somewhere in the question booklet okay if you are when you are doing the question paper when we are doing the questions we can definitely find out the passage which passage i have to go and check to find out the answers definitely you can find out the uh, uh, find out the passage and you will get the answers correctly okay um got it somewhere in the question or booklets or question but you have to write test is in a small letter okay i don't 
write in a very big letter, a small letter, just for your understanding. Test A, Setiology, Test B, Management, like that. What are the passages saying that you have to write it there, okay? That only that you have to write it there in the Test A, is my, uh, my, if it is Management, you write Management. If it is Science and Symptoms, write Science and Symptoms. If it is Medication, write Medication, okay? Got it? Then, I told you before, you get 20 questions. Uh, uh, there are three type of questions match the following sentence completion and short answer type questions first you have to sorry firstly read the question number from uh, seven onwards okay so um, from the question number from seven first you have to start from here okay not from the beginning okay now i am telling you the technique how to manage your timings okay that is that I am going to tell you how to manage your timings, okay? So, you have to apply these techniques when you are doing the test, okay? From here, you have to start from 7th question onwards, okay? From here, you have to start, okay? And next, next, you have to, first of all, you have to read the question and underline the main keywords, okay? You have to start from the, from the question number from 7 onwards, okay. Secondly, you have to read the question and underline the keywords, okay. What are the keywords? Okay, you have to underline what kind of diabetic food also underline, okay. Patient has lost all sensation, all sensation, lost all sensation, kind of diabetic food also, okay. You got it? kind of diabetic food ulcer lost all sensation these are the two keywords in this question okay got it you have to underline the keywords okay got it and second here you will get an idea about the location of the paragraph as i suggested writing titles on the side of the paragraph as i told you you have to write on the side of the question booklet what the passage is saying so from reading the question paper so reading the question you will uh, you will get an idea about which paragraph you have to go okay so kind of diabetic food ulcer and a loss to all sensation okay so, kind of diabetic food ulcer lost to all sensation, okay. Kind kind of means types, okay. Here, first one is, is assessing a diabetic food ulcer and uh, lost to all sensation. Like that, they are given the question. When reading the question paper, reading the question, you will get some idea which paragraph I have to go and read the uh, read the uh, find, find out the question, okay. Then you have to underline the keyword, underline the keywords, okay. Then what you have to do with the keywords in mind, okay. Keep your keywords in mind. Go back to the test and scan more carefully for details, okay. You have to keep your mind what are the keywords and, and you will get an idea which test I have to go to the uh, passage to find out the answers. Then you have to skim that paragraph. You have to properly skim that paragraph and scan it properly okay so next you have to look for paraphrase or synonyms okay sometimes you won't get the same verse as it is written in the question paper so you have to look for paraphrase or synonyms synonymous expression of the keywords okay you got it okay so never you won't get some 80 percentage you won't get same words okay if you are finding if the patient if the, the question is written blood sugar okay if you are going and searching the blood sugar you won't get so sometimes you will get the word hypoglycemia so you should know what are the words i will get it from there so you have to find out if there is any words uh, if the, if you have to find out the the paraphrase or synonyms of the keywords okay got it uh, next, the answer you are looking for might not use the same words as the keywords I told you before, okay? But it could be said differently while still meaning the same thing. That means the paraphrase or synonyms I told you. You have to look look for the keywords and you look for the uh, look for the keywords. You won't get the same keyword there. You will get the synonyms or paraphrased words of the 
keyword. So you have to look for that. Okay. If you are finding the same keyword, you want sometimes you won't get there. Okay. So you have to look for the paraphrase or synonyms. Okay. So if the keyword is there, you will get the answer. If the keyword is not there, you won't get the answer. You got it. If the keyword is there in the passage, you will get the answer. If the keyword is not there, you won't get the answer. Again, 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 you are reading that paragraph, you won't get the answers. You won't get the answers. Okay. It will kill your time. Is It will finish the 15 minutes. You won't get, you cannot complete all 20 questions. Okay. You cannot complete all 20 questions. So, it will lose all your markers. Definitely, you will fail in OIT rating subtests. Okay, this is uh, this is the uh, this is proved strategy. So please, please understand what are the techniques I am telling you. Please apply these techniques when you are doing OIT reading part. Yeah, definitely you will get eighteen out of twenty. Definitely you will attend. You yeah, definitely you will get eighteen out of twenty. At the same time, you will get enough time to complete all the question paper you got it what i am telling you please apply my technique when you are doing oit reading uh, part game uh, when you are completing when you are completed all the 7 to 20 questions finally do the match the following okay finally do the match the following already you did 70 to 20 questions you will get some idea about the what are the passages same at the same time you wrote somewhere in the question book what the passage what the test uh, what the test a is what the test b is what the test c is and what the test uh, d is okay you will get some idea what are the uh, information in the test a what are the informations in the test a okay finally you have to do the match the following definitely you will get six out of six definitely if you follow my techniques definitely you will get six out of six in oit reading uh, uh, read, uh, reading subtest match the following okay so you have to write somewhere in the question booklet test a is medication test b is etiology test c is um, uh, treatment test c is management like that you have to write okay so when you get the questions definitely you can easily find out the answers in match the following okay okay you you read one for question number one okay but you are not, not sure uh, in this information the passage test a or b or not c d okay uh, first you have to read the question uh, first you have to read the question and you will get somewhere this will be in the test a okay, definitely you did some 7 to 20 questions definitely you will get added this this uh, this information the test a, okay sometimes you will get confused maybe this will be in the test a or b Okay, so what you have to do, you have to find out the keyword in the question, okay, and check uh, check this information in the test A if it is not there in the test B, okay. You got two doubt, maybe it, is, it will be in the test A or test B, okay. First, you have to go to test A and it is not there, test B, okay. Sometimes when you are doing math the following questions, okay, total six questions you will get. When you are doing the math the following questions, Sometimes you will confuse uh, with test A or B. Okay. So that time, what you have to do, you have to go to test A and find out the keywords. It is not there in the passage, then go to B. Uh, definitely you can finalize your answers. Okay. Okay. God bless you all, my friends. Okay. Um, you are doing something extra, okay? I know I am a nurse. I am a nurse. You are doing something else. I know your pains very well, okay? I am. I know your pains very. You are doing shift duties. You have families. You are going. You are doing your extra timings. You are spending too much time or energy uh, for uh, for achieving your dreams, okay? So please be careful. Please be. Please do your hundred percentage uh, when you are doing part getters. Okay, take one uh, new year resolutions. Okay, now this year you are going to achieve your uh, dreams. Take new year resolutions and achieve your dreams. And best of luck to all my OIT aspirants for online contact. You can call for online class. You can contact me for this number. Um, so uh, thank you for today's session. Signing off, Sanita. Thank you so much.